So, thirsty malarkey, shit talking. Okay, tuning. Why do we put Darwin bands on a compression shoe? <clears throat> Quick explanation. Compression shoes. Basically, little, 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 your cocking link arm goes into there. Your piston is in your tube. When you cock your rifle, this goes down your gun body, leaves the piston attached to your trigger here, and then the compression shoe comes back up and your transfer port meets up with your breech clicks in and you fire your piston comes back down and off goes your pellet to kill a bunny or go into a phone book so you can measure how powerful it is after your new tune now this compression shoe is zero twenty nine point six two millimeter outer diameter. This compression tube twenty nine point five seven millimeter outer diameter. Check me origin. And I'm going, this compression shoe. These are all different guns. 29.66 millimeter outer diameter. This one, the brand new one, 29.59 millimeter outer diameter. So in a 30 millimeter tube, which is your gun body, this one I prepared earlier. That piston's got a lot of slack. That compression tube's got a lot of slack. So we take a track out of the compression tube and we insert Delwin bands. Machine them down to 29.91, 29.92 to give a tiny, tiny bit of clearance and it eliminates this which is clear to see where the compression tube is scraping when we got a zero against the inside of your gun body look at the back here that's all metal to metal interference that's why we glide a comp tube just to make things up a little bit better I've never come across a compression tube um, that has an outer diameter of 29.9 millimeter. Never come across that in 20 years. So there's enough meat there on that Delrin band. There's enough clearance to leave enough meat to form a nice glide when that's traveling up and down. This one is an early 77. The piston has also been machined and glided on this particular one the trigger block has been machined and opened up and a steel guide inserted and turned on a dead centre so that basically everything is in line with where it needs to be going comp tube up, sealed perfectly in place with your breech, piston then fires and travels down a solid steel rod can't go anywhere now that's a tune and that's the reason why we do it but the conch tube yes it needs bearings I hope you found that useful because it's fucking freezing today my dog is basically insisting I leave the front door of the shop open so that he can guard the place because he's a dick and the temperature in here is 14.2 degrees so hopefully you will sat at home warm uh, yeah right have a good one bye